we were invited to go to, uh, to Creative Works in Memphis, Tennessee. Worked out a deal where uh, we were, we ended up doing the branding for the whole event, all the marketing, animation, uh, signage, and then actually developed a font for the event too. Yeah. So, which is actually currently for sale right now. Yep. Uh, go to the shop and yeah, called, check it out. It's called Driven. Yep. Right. Yeah. I, I believe so. Yep. And I think it's relatively cheap. So. Yeah, because the uh, the tagline for the event was driven to create. So actually, in the in the very beginning of the conversations with Josh, he didn't have a tagline kind of nailed down for for the event. Every event he did in the past had a specific tagline that went with it, and then the art goes with that. So we were kicking around ideas. Driven to create seemed you know seemed like a cool fun fun idea. I'm like, hey, yeah, let's do this because then we can kind of you know work on something that's a little bit auto yeah. you know or truck or something there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it definitely we, lends itself to some ideas that you'll see you know we got some you know pe cats behind the wheel and yeah yeah exactly so so kicked it off with sketches um for the logo so wanted to go with this kind of hot rod theme um the cat i'm not sure can't even recall the cat why there was cat. i don't know why but it's cool <laughs> it works yeah it's a cool cat yeah yeah i can't can't recall if there's a reason for the cat Ooh, um look at the letters but yeah you'll see some of these sketches here that brandon did for the actual mascot so it landed on a final mascot took that to final and then built out the driven to create type badge and uh the head of the cat and you kind of see this type walk up here that was used everywhere and then down here you have the tees for the event so super fun one color tee you know three color tee so so everyone everybody got the font for free that was there yeah yeah we had a little cards um basically you <clears throat> got this little card and you could download the font so yeah yeah it's just something different you know it's like yeah here's the logo but like to find more assets to make with it it was cool that we we were able to do this and then yeah. everyone there was able to get one yeah and then from that we made a little kind of intro little bumper graph or animation that could be used before and after each uh speaker yep. so, yeah which was cool. on screen you know yep for quite a while yeah it was so that's kind of why it it kind of has this repeating of the guy going across the bottom is this is frankie too it's frankie huh? this is frankie yep so yeah so basically got all this dialed in and then uh flew out to memphis we get this house this airbnb set up by josh and uh, we uber from the airport to the house and man well, first, just to set it off, the Uber driver uh, had an open carry uh, pistol on his on his side and let us know when we got out of the car, like, y'all know where you're at, and uh, tapped his holster. And we're like, oh, shit, okay. Uh, <laughs> if we didn't, we do now. Like, yeah. Yeah, one of the evenings we were driving back to the to the Airbnb or whatever, and there was like, I don't know, 17 cops, uh, a small tank outside. Not our place, but, you know, four houses down in there raiding the yeah. house. And sure enough, we saw them, you know, bring a guy out hogtied and... <laughs> Um, yeah, at was, least for that minute, there was enough cops around that, you know, felt a little safe, yeah. but it was a little, it was a little different, you know? Yeah, it was interesting. The house, the house was nice. Oh, the house was great. Yeah, it was nice. It was a newer house. It was great, but yeah. So I talked to Josh and his wife later on, um, at the, the party for the event and he was like, how's the place? And I'm like, oh man, like it's in a, a bit of a rough neighborhood. And he's like, what? I'm like, yeah, man, it's pretty freaking shady. Even the Uber drivers are like, damn, what, you guys know where you stand? Um, so then he looked up the address and his wife's like, oh, shit. Like, yeah, you guys are on the wrong side of the, I guess there's like a grocery store in the main street and we're on whatever the south side. And I guess you go right across the street on the north side and it's, you it's know, better. yeah, it's a better yeah. neighborhood. And, but yeah, it was, it was definitely an eye opener coming from, you know, Portland. Yeah. It's like everyone, you know, it's pretty mellow. So you got to keep you on your toes over there. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. So we got to see the all sides of Memphis. Uh, but yeah, good, scrolling through here, we got the banners, you know, using the type, the logo lockup. Yeah, even just like the the big old sticker on the window, that thing's massive. Right? Yeah. I mean, just to tie it in, they got the tires to, you know, go with this whole driven theme. So yeah, it was cool. Um, the headliner for that event was uh, David Carson. Yep, legend. So super legend. Uh, when I was going to college back in whatever, not 90, 98, 99, um, you know, I had his one of his first books and knew about him and shit, so... Um, for him to be there, you know, speaking as the main the main speaker, I was like, oh hell yeah, we got to hook up with this dude. Totally. So sure enough, found him in some little uh, there was like a little attic area oh, in yeah. that one bar where there was like this small ass little bar, and he's kind of posted up, and finally everyone kind of made their way up there, and it got super crowded, but <laughs> it was cool, super uh, super mellow dude. Sat down, talked to him for a while, 
yeah, it was it was a good time. I was I was hyped on. It's always cool when you meet you know some of these people, and it can go you know yeah. two ways, right? You, know? and, you uh, have that expectation. And... Yeah, and you you hope they're cool, and you kind of jive, and yep. you guys can talk shop or whatever. And and he was like that, similar to Morning Breath dudes, but. Yeah. Here's another one. If you guys don't know this guy, you should for sure go back and dig into his his work. David Carson, man, oh, some, yeah. some awesome stuff. Yeah, yeah, he's, it's it's interesting. He's almost like you know everything was so just kind of boring early '90s look, and he came from this total opposite side, like this zine vibe. Uh, I think now they call it neo brutalism, which you know we'll, call it whatever you want, but it's just totally different. I mean, certain people have their exact looks where his. You could see his piece and you know, yep, that's David Carson. He wasn't sure. snapping to the grid, that's for sure. No, <laughs> no. no. <laughs> there was no yeah, grid. Command U was turned off yeah. on that, you yeah. know, no smart guides, but. Yeah, which is, that's it, cool. Yeah, he, he's just kind of living the life, you know, traveling around the world, surfing, you know, working on his laptop on the beach. Um, yeah, yeah, the dude's got a house in the Caribbean that he surfs with a surf spot right out, right out yeah. front. Like, and he got his start in uh, kind of surfing and Quicksilver and, um, billabong stuff like that as well as ray gun magazine um so he's he's really deep in the surf industry and he's not faking it i mean a dude surfs oh, right. like all the time right. which is cool you i know? think he just dropped a master class on the internet that he really did. goes through this you know even listening to his talk it was definitely more inspirational than anyone else because it's like usually people are like oh look at some work i've done where he's kind of getting into theory and why this and why that and uh and a lot of like why not yeah was yes, this thing yes. like you know, he's like showing like I mean, he's doing some ads from a, for like BMW or something, you know. And it was like, dude, super abstract and like logo cut in half and typed down here, and you know. And his thing was like, why not? You know, oh, yeah. why does it? Is have it to working? Be? Yeah. yeah. Doesn't you it know? catch your attention? Yeah. Like, is it selling the product? Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. all the check boxes you got to hit. Yeah. And then he's and doing he it. told a ton of stories of like presenting work like that and and them going, hell no, right. no way, and just like canceling the project and stuff. I yeah. bet. So he's like, I've failed a ton you know, with my style because clients think they want it until they see it, mm -hmm. you know, and their logo's cut in half or the type's ha <laughs> right. you know, off the page and you can't read it at all. There, were, um, there was something he was saying. There's a magazine maybe called Helvetica or something along those lines, and then on the cover – he he did his cover take and it was using gill sands or something yeah, just totally right. wrong and he's like yeah of course this is I'm gonna not do what you, you know are expecting um, so it's kind of cool to hear that you're like damn this dude does not care and it works for him you know so for sure. yeah he's one of the guys that's like in the list of you know the history book of graphic design oh, like he's in that book he's you know, for sure. maybe one of the first you right. know yeah uh, had a booth there big booth um, we were right down i mean right next to grizzly again and then down from uh oxford oxford pennant was there which those dudes kill it yeah the dudes are rad yeah, great I, sp I spent too much money with them yeah they had some giant pennant like yeah. banner things that were expensive that were hard to pass up photos of us before backstage getting ready to go on um kind of similar setup where i was at the podium guys were um, sitting in chairs and we went back and forth on different projects yeah great event <laughs> creative works check it out there is another one coming uh in november so yeah, this year yeah check that out